Hello and welcome to our jewellery making tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate spiral staircase stitch which I've used to create these stunning necklaces. Spiral staircase stitch is a beginner stitch suitable for all levels of beading skills. The choice of colours used to create this necklace can also change the look dramatically. The result of mixing different sizes of seed beads gives the finished piece of jewellery a beautiful organic look. I am using traditional Czech seed beads produced by Preciosa Ornella. These Czech glass seed beads are a plump, rounded, torus, ring donut shape. The gentle curve of this bead lends themselves to this particular stitch. The sizes of beads I'm going to use are, for the core of the necklace, the violet pink, I'm going to use a size nine. This is the bead that the rest of the beads will spiral around. For the outside beads, we have a size 11, aquamarine silver lined, two size nines for this necklace which we have an opaque aquamarine, violet pink and then we have a size five which is Montana silver lined. For the tools I will be using a size 10 needle and fire lined thread. To start pick up a stopper bead which will be placed onto the 15 to 20 centimeter mark of your thread. You can use any size stopper bead as this is not part of the design and solely used to keep the beads in place. I'm now going to pick up five size nine core beads, the violet pink. I'm going to pick up the outer beads. So you start your size 11 aquamarine silver lined, size 9, the opaque aquamarine, size 9, violet pink, and the size 5, the Montana silver lined. Back to the violet pink. Pink aquamarine. And the size 11 aquamarine. Take your needle back to the first bead and go through the first five core beads. Snug your work up together. Now pick up one more core bead and then the outer beads. Now pass your needle through the last four core beads from the previous set, plus one that you've just added, totaling five. Pull the thread tight and manually move the outside beads until they sit next to the previous set of outside beads. It's very important to remember to move the outside beads the same way when you move them next to the previous set. Either always move them right or always move them left, whatever feels most comfortable for you. You'll find that the outside beads spiral up the central core of the beads. Each time you add one more core bead to grow the length of your necklace and then pick up the outer beads.
can now start to see the spiral emerging as the necklace grows. You can clearly see the spiral design. At this stage, feel free to take your stopper bead off or you can leave it on till the end if you wish. Keep adding your beads until you've reached the required length for your necklace. As you can see, this necklace is quite chunky, so finishing the ends was a challenge. I have adapted a beaded end cap using Pyote Stitch to create a joining component that then allows me to finish the necklace with sterling silver components. If you would like further information on how to create this stunning necklace, follow the link below as we have created some optional colourways and a set of instructions to get you started. Mm -hmm.